Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a two-part video series where I would like to show you how you can collect process metrics data generated through the execution of your BAO workflow processes. Let's get started. Process metrics collects information related to the execution of workflow processes. The information is collected using the metrics activity within the development studio, which you can include in your workflow to capture specific information such as exit code, adapter response, execution time about the particular process when it's running on the grid manager. These process metrics information can be used to generate graphs or reports using the BAO graphing server or BAO health and dashboard component. In order to collect process metrics, you need to make sure the metrics activity is included and configured in your workflow within the development studio. The grid has been configured with an external database to store the process metrics. And lastly, at least one peer on the grid must be designated as a synchronization point to upload the process metrics to the database. Now let's do a quick demo. On this server, I have my CDP and SQL Server database installed. Let's connect to the SQL Server and create a database to hold our process metrics data. Let's create a new database. We'll give it a name, BioMetrics. Leave the rest of the information as it is. The database is now created. Now let's create a new user. The default database for this user will be BAO metrics. Select the checkbox and give the DB owner permission. Now click OK. Now let's try to log in using the new user into our database. As we can see, we are successfully logged in and we are able to access the BAO metrics database. Now, the user we just created has the permission to create tables, insert records in those tables, and to select or fetch records from the table. The next step is to download the drivers for our specific database from the vendor site and place it on a BAO peer. For SQL Server, you can download the driver from the following link. For the purpose of this video, I have already downloaded the driver. Let's copy the driver and go to the CDP install directory. Go to lib and add-ons folder and paste it in here. Once done, let's configure the process metrics DB information on the grid manager. Go to the grid manager, go to manage and process metrics tab. Over here, select the database type as SQL Server. Now, it has automatically populated the URL syntax for us. Let's update the URL with the proper information of our database. Leave the driver string as it is. For the username, provide BAO admin. And for the password, we'll type in admin123. The upload interval will keep it at default. Click OK. The changes are now saved. Next, we need to designate one of the peer as a sync point for uploading the process metrics. So go to the Manage and Peers tab, select the CDP peer, 
click the pencil icon and select the sync point checkbox. Now click OK. Now in the next part of the video series, we'll see if the process metric tables are created within the database after a peer service restart. And lastly, we'll create a sample workflow to capture the process metrics information in the SQL Server database.